we want to catch an enemy who's defusing the spike off guard, we can throw a flash. Not from here, we can throw a flash from in here to make it seem like we're standing over there, like this. So this is what it looks like here, from their perspective. They think that we're standing right yeah. here, but in reality, we're throwing that flash from all the way over here, and we're shift walking behind them. And by doing this, we're going to be able to get a free kill on them, and they're going to be looking that way. I like to flash a little bit above head level. So from here, like, this is going to, you know, if someone's holding this angle, it's going to pull someone's uh, crosshair off of this. You know, then we have to readjust to hit my head again. If you find information like this throughout the video helpful, make sure to check out the full Valorant Competitive Fundamentals course in my Patreon link down in the description below. Basically, it's information just like it is throughout this video, except for over a full hour. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you everything related to Reyna. So we're going to be starting off with Reyna's abilities, as well as later get into to her playstyle that can help you really improve your Valorant competitive rank. So jump again, we're going to be starting with Reyna's Flash. One of the most basic things you need to understand about Reyna's Flash so you properly use it every time is that there's a small window whenever you first activate it before it flashes an enemy. There's both, both a visual and audio cue to tell you when the flash is activated. So you can see it whenever it's fully formed as an eye, that means it's flashing people. And whenever you hear the second sound, which you'll, you'll hear, in a, hear in a second, um, that means it's flashing people. So let's go and throw it. So it is flashing people now. So after that second sound goes off and whenever you see the eye fully formed now. So that's when you want to be flashing and that's when you want to be peeking, right? So what you don't want to do is throw a flash like this and then instantly peek, right? Because what's going to happen is someone's going to be like up here and then they're going to see the flash come, but they're going to see you come before the flash pops. And that's what good players are going to do. A good player's mouse will just shoot the flash. But uh, so you have to be the way you actually want to flash is throw a flash. Feeling sight. Wait for the sound and then peek, right? And then once that once that goes off, you know that you're fully flashing people and you can come out with some confidence because you know that anyone who is going to be out here is going to be flashed. Also, you want to flash in a certain situation. Whenever you're coming out into a wide open area, I, I like to flash a little bit higher up. You don't want to flash super high up because there is a range to Reina's flash. So if we're flashing super high, like I don't know if this is actually a range. Like this is probably still gonna flash people, but there's certain areas like if Rain is flashing out there, there's no way it's gonna flash me here. It's just too far away. But I like to just flash kind of high, but not super high. So you know, I like to flash a little bit above head level. So from here, like this is gonna, you know, if someone's holding this angle, it's gonna pull someone's uh, crosshair off of this to to you know. Then we have to readjust to hit my head again. So it's gonna be hard. But if you're just throwing it at head level like this, then it's, you know, I can, they can literally shoot that and then shoot the, the, your head right through the flash. You have to be very careful about that. Also, when you flash, think about what you're flashing. So look at the mini map, right? There's a big radius you can flash around in, uh, around your character. But instead of flashing like, you know, here, which might not flash logs, you want to flash, just think about, you can flash here, yeah. you can flash here, you can flash here, you can flash yeah. here, here with this flash. So this is the flash I would throw. You're, you're going to come. Right now, are we talking more a little about entering here in a second? But just make sure your flashes are good, right? Don't throw flashes that aren't flashing everything that they could be flashing. That's a lot of flashes. All right. So, guys, another thing that you can do with Reina Flash is actually flash through a wall for your team, specifically in the spot here. This is something that I really do like to do. Uh, you can flash a little lower for this one if you want. It kind of doesn't matter a lot, but flash here. It's really good because anyone that's trying to hold aggressive here or that's even trying to cross or hold this with an op they're gonna be forced to either run away or shoot the flash in which case you know exactly where the person is because of their gunshots um and it allows as you flash your team to run up however if your omen if there if you have an omen on your team and he has a flash there that's going to be much better for this just because it's stronger it's easier it's unavoidable for this person uh they have to run away basically they can't shoot it so keep that in mind another really useful way to use random flash is uh, as a fake so let's say that we're like it's like a 1v i don't know a 1v2 and we have the spike and we're trying to plant so you know let's say that we have a site we know it's clear but let's say that we you know let's say that we want to fake that we're coming around into yeah. tree like this and we want to fake that we're flashing from right here okay so well let's just say that this is broken so that this actually makes sense right so let's say that we're flashing from here uh, so what would that look like? It looks something probably like this. So we're trying to fake them to think that we're flashing from right here. That's pretty good, right? That's a pretty good flash from there. And so if there's someone yeah. heaven, or if there's someone yeah. here, they're going to focus their attention over to here. 
and they're gonna think, oh, he's coming, he's flashing from here. But all while you're, while they're thinking that, you can slowly run and jump up here. This might not be the best example, but it's, it's definitely giving you an idea. Another example might be, okay, we know it's a 1v2, I'm gonna flash here, and then just start kind of running away to come up mid or go toward B. Uh, this is a great example of just like some misdirection you can do with your flash. This really does work if you do it correctly, if you do it in a good timing. One more way that you can use random flash is once the spike has been planted, so like there. someone's trying to defuse the spike here and you guys are trying to defend the spike, um, you can just throw a flash like this. And if it's a 1v1, uh, like if this person doesn't shoot the flash, then you know there's a good chance they might actually be sticking it. Uh, and then you can peek while the flash is still up. But if they shoot the if they shoot the flash, then you know that the, they have to be off the spike. So you can literally just sit here and wait. And if you for some reason have two flashes, you, look how safe I can do this from. Like look how far away I am. I can flash from all the way over here. And then like I know that they have to be either sticking the spike if they don't shoot it. And if they do shoot it, I know that I can wait for them to re-tap the spike before I really need to start coming up again. And so that's just another really nice use of Reyna's flash. Alright, so now we're gonna be talking about everything related to Reyna's soul orbs. So First of all, how do the soul orbs work? And then we're gonna be talking about the heal and the dismiss from Rana, which are arguably two of her most important abilities, especially the dismiss. Uh, but how do the soul orbs work? So basically, if you get a kill on someone, no matter the range, it's gonna drop a soul orb and you can activate this from a certain range, uh, from a certain distance, and it allows you to either heal or dismiss. Additionally, this lasts for three seconds. So you see this line, this is three seconds. Uh, also, if you damage someone and then your teammate kills them, it also is going to drop a soul orb for three seconds. Uh, you have to have damaged them in the last three seconds before they die for this soul orb to drop after your teammate kills them, but that's something else to keep in mind. So you'll always get a soul orb if you damage someone before they die recently. So guys, let's go ahead and move on now that we understand how soul orbs work to understanding how to optimally use heal and dismiss. So heal is pretty straightforward. I'm going to go ahead and explain that one first. So heal, um, let me just take away my armor actually. Heal, and now it gives you, heals you for 50 and no more, but the nice part about the new heal is that the heal lasts throughout the entire round, which is a big a big plus in my opinion. I like this change a lot. Um, the only time you really don't wanna be healing is if you're like fighting someone and you know there's more people around because as you heal, you see, I can't shoot for a split second there. Like if I try to shoot, I can't shoot. I can't shoot until now. So it's like a, a little window there where you're not actually able to shoot. So be, be very careful when you're trying to fight someone. And if you know there's more people around, that's probably gonna be a better situation for you to either dismiss or just take the second fight instead, depending on how uh, good or bad you think that position is and how low you might be in terms of your HP. Um, so guys, we can go ahead and talk about, also one more thing about the heal. So imagine that you're in garage on he uh, heaven, right? And you got to kill, you killed someone in garage, but you can't quite reach the solar. orb. Something you can do. I can't really uh, demonstrate it perfectly in this situation, I don't think, but you can, you can jump over to get the heal, right? So what would happen otherwise if you didn't jump you just wouldn't be able to activate it it would say no soul orb available but if you jump and then hit mouse button whatever it is then you're gonna get the heal and just if you keep jumping it'll heal you all the way so keep that in mind that's a little tip that they don't really teach you and it's something you kind of have to learn through experience or through my videos uh so now i'm gonna be teaching you about the dismiss the dismiss is by far reyna's most broken ability it's what makes reyna reyna what's it's what makes reyna so strong in solo queue it's it's what makes reyna just amazing right so whenever we're fighting let's say that we're fighting two people here and they're like we're like oh crap there's two we need to get a kill here whenever you're playing reyna just keep thinking i need to get a kill i need to get a kill because everything good that's going to happen to you on reyna is going to be after you get a kill so get a kill and then once you get the kill you're like oh crap there's another one i can't really fight him right now because if they both swing you at the same time it's actually gonna be really hard for you to um, manage to kill both of them. So just really focus on getting that one kill and then notice your environment think Okay, where's a good place? I can dismiss to here and then you're like, okay I can dismiss to here then you can take the second fight right and you can dismiss again If you think there's another one or you don't have to dismiss you don't always need to dismiss after a kill although it can feel one satisfying and two like necessary, but Sometimes it's good to think like okay, should I heal here? or Should I just not do anything? I don't need to heal if I don't think there's anyone else, I don't need to dismiss, right? Sometimes you need to save your dismiss for another fight later in the round or for a heal later. Um, and just keep that in mind. So it's pretty straightforward. Also with Reign of Dismiss, they recently changed it so that you cover the same distance, but you cover it a lot quicker. So this means that your dismiss lasts much shorter, but that you move much quicker. So this is what it looks like now. 
It used to last much longer, but be a lot slower. But I think this is also a really nice buff to Reyna. Um, so yeah, guys, quickly, let's go ahead and talk about Reyna's ult. You activate it. Stay with color. Just like Reyna's overheal now, it lasts throughout the entire round. So if you want to use it on any given round, you should activate it earlier rather than later before you take fights so that you can get that overheal. So how does the overheal work here? So if you get a kill, you can see I can only dismiss. And you hear the sound of me healing though. In the bottom left, it says healing. So basically when you're ulted, you automatically heal for 50 every kill. You don't have to activate the, the soul orb. Uh, and also the only other big difference with Reyna ult is going to be that you turn invisible whenever you get the kill. So I'm actually invisible and you can do some crazy things, especially in lower ranks. Like let's say there's two people here, you can absolutely uh, violate some people if you do this. I even try to do that sometimes in like my higher ranks and it, it works. I wouldn't recommend always doing that or getting in the habit of doing that. But if you're like forced out in an open situation, it's better to do that than to just like fight and then not dismiss in my opinion. Because, and then you can also like throw out some scrapes there, kind of like this. And that'll really help uh, catch your enemies off guard. So last but not least guys, we're gonna be talking about entering and just kind of how to entry on Reyna and what's important to focus on. So the biggest thing that you wanna be focusing on when you're entering is one, using a good flash and then not being scared to just walk out and look for that kill, right? That kill, that first kill is gonna open up so much opportunity for you in terms of one, your heal and as well as your uh, your dismiss. And also it's gonna give you a lot of confidence because now you feel like you have, you have options, right? So how are we gonna entry into a site onto Bind here. I love to flash this wall here for my team. So flash like this. This is what it looks like. It's gonna again flash some of these people off of this angle, and it's gonna be it's gonna make it less likely for someone to cross this corner. However, whenever you flash this, still make sure that when you're running up, that you're actually clearing here because just because you flash something like for example, if I flash here and nobody shoots from the right, it doesn't mean that no one's in this corner. For example, they could just be sitting here like this hiding and waiting for the flash to disappear. That's gonna be something you see a lot in lower ranks. But how are we actually gonna flash out the site now? So I would, you always want, you always need to flash for here. You don't necessarily yeah. need to throw this one that I threw first, but you're always gonna need to throw this flash. So first of all, you can kind of wait. You don't always need to go straight away. You can kind of chill here, look around, see if there's anything, ask for some smokes, right? Don't go out too far. Throw your flash high. Sight. You're gonna wait for the flash to pop, clear the left, clear here, clear here. You always wanna be careful of here, here, here. So going through that again, flash, wait for, the, wait for the flash to pop, I'm being a little quick there. Flash pop, clear right, clear here, clear there, clear here, clear here, always be cautious if there's someone showers, if you have nobody yeah. on your team coming up showers. Um, and then at this point, we can kind of chill. If you do get a kill here, you have either a heal or a dismiss to help you get to safety. And then always be have to be careful in U-Haul, if you think there's going to be shotguns here, probably be even more cautious, maybe throw a flash here if you have one. Um, just to see if there's a shotgun or save it. I love to save flashes for later. Again, like I said, whenever there's a spike down here, yeah. later in the half, we can just throw this flash to sight. see if they're on it or not. And if they don't do anything, you know we might need to peek. And if they do shoot it, then we know that you can just chill. Um, another good example of after we get onto the site of how we can fake is throwing a flash like this, right? If we throw a flash like this, if the enemy's on yeah. the spike, on this, if the enemy's on the site, and we want to throw a flash here, Feeling they're going to think that this flash is coming from over here, right? So they're going to think that we're just sitting right here and flashing, but in reality, we're actually throwing it through the wall like this. You can even throw it farther over that way to make it seem like you're really right there. And again, that, that's what it looks like. So they're going to think that you're over there. Meanwhile, you're actually just wrapping around them and they're going to be sitting right here spike. looking at you and you get the free kill. And that's a great example of how you can use a fake random flash.